what's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and I'm here with another Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle video. I hope you guys like the new overlay that I put together here. It's amazing, to be honest. I don't know, I seem to enjoy making these for some reason. And I'm pretty good, too. <laughs> Either way, it's time to battle. Uh, this right here is a singles battle that I had with Pika Sarah. One of my closest friends from my college program. Uh, she isn't as competitive as I am, so it's important for me to play things casually here, while still trying to make good decisions with my Pokémon. You can see that our teams are a mixture of legendary and normal Pokémon. Uh, these types of battles are always fun, not gonna lie. I see a Squirrel Bunny and a Scraggy in this team video. Uh, little did I know that one of these Pokemon is going to do something in this fight. No joke, it's bound to happen. Let's go ahead and play this thing and see what happens. Alright, here we go. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you want to battle me, you can hit me up on Twitter at TrainerConnor. Or you can add me on Discord and just shoot me up for a battle. Uh, me and Sarah, we did that on Discord. So thank you for the battle and let's have a good time. She starts off with Ursafu as I begin with Porygon Z. I haven't used the Porygon Z in forever, but this one is a little weird. Has download, first of all, and it's holding a silk scarf. Not a good matchup though, as I switch out, trying to see if he's going for close combat or something like that. But it turns out that this Ursafu is going for focus punch. You don't see that very often. I switch into Articuno Golar. Who is a psychic type? I just go for. I didn't want to go for the psychic type move just yet, so I just go for U turn expecting the Ursifu to get out of there because of that psychic type move, Freezing Glare. Uh, it's pretty evident, right? So, knowing that she's staying in here with the Ursifu, I just go into Helix, my uh, Scizor that I just trained up as a Metal Coat variant. Surging Strikes comes my way. A lot of them are critical hits because they are supposed to be because it's surging strikes and you always get a critical hit. So she finally decides to switch out going to the Moltres, going to Moltres here again. And I expected that so I go for Roost right here. This set is a little weird but I like it. Sword Stance, Bullet Punch, X Scissor, and Roost. Very nice, very nice. Combine that with the Metal Coat, you're going to get some really powerful bullet punches. So here I try going for this strategy, okay, because I know I can live a Fiery Wrath from this Golar uh, Moltres, and unfortunately she has Sucker Punch, which is faster, because, you know, the Fiery Bracket is set like that. So Helix didn't really do much this battle. It's a little unfortunate, but next time I will make sure that happens. So I go into my Zerk tree, I misclick. I really should have gone for Thunderbolt because that would have taken out this Moltres. I just go for Dazzling Gleam instead, and that's going to cost me my Zerker Tree. And uh, the Sucker Punch comes again and just hits me really hard. So I lose two Pokemon in this thing, I have not really touched it. So I'm going to go into Zacian. Yeah, this is a very interesting battle, a mixture of legendary and normal Pokemon. So what fun! So I go into Zacian, like I mentioned, and she switches out and goes back into Ursifu. I wasn't sure why, because I have the play rough. Granted, I could have missed it, but hey, I hit it this time. I don't have good luck with hitting moves like play rough, what's that move? Focus Blast, Hurricanes. We end up hitting the play rough twice in this fight, so that's great. We knock out Raichu, so. Now, that's one Pokemon for each of us that never gets a chance to shine this battle. My Helix, aka Scizor, and her Raichu. It's pretty even, in my opinion. Pretty even. So, I go into Porygon Z, get my useless download boost. She goes for Nasty Plot, and that's a very nice play because she knows that she can survive a hit, and the fact that I switched out, and uh, she can just go for the priority move right after, right? Yeah, but we're not gonna make we're gonna make sure that, that doesn't happen. So we go for try attack and we just prevent that from 
doing that all over my team, yeah? It's pretty annoying. So, we get rid of the Moltres, and I just go for yet another tie attack on Corbin Knight. Like I said, I'm going to be as casual while still being competitive in some ways. Luckily for me, I get a very rare freeze with the tri attack. And I'm like, that's great. So now I can go into Arcanine. And uh, unfortunately, she thaws out. So good for her. And uh, this Corbin Knight has Power Trip, which doesn't do anything. I don't know. Go for a crunch instead of flare blitz, just trying to make sure that she can be a little competitive on my side. And uh, that brave bird does damage, man. So I get a critical hit here with the crunch, and uh, that mattered a little bit. So she goes in the score button, and I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm gonna just go for crunch. I'm not expecting this to. I'm not expecting score button to survive this hit, that's what I'm trying to say there. And then she goes into Scraggy, and this is her last Pokemon. So this was a fast battle, but watch this. Remember when I said that one of these Pokemon is going to do something in this fight? I wasn't joking. This is going to happen. So I switch out, going to Articuno for the typing matchup, of course. And then she pulls off this amazing... I don't know how to describe it, but... This unevolved Pokemon is going to go for the Dynamax. And uh, I don't think we agreed to do Dynamax, but hey, it is the way it is. People do that all the time now, especially in Sword and Shield. So uh, she goes for the Max Knuckle and it's gonna do some damage. Like, holy crap. I am neutral. Actually, no, it's not very effective. Sorry. And uh, we survived this hit and then she goes for Max Guard, which. Eh, that wastes a turn on her Dynamax, so I, I can't really... I'm not going to say much about that. You waste a turn there and that's what happens, but... And then she goes for the Max Steel Spike, and this is going to hurt because of the Max Knuckle Boost. She has a plus one boost to her attack, and now she has a plus one to her defense as well. And she knocks out Articuno. That's a little unfortunate. First time ever that Scraggy took care of a legendary Pokemon. Who would have thought that that would happen, right? So, uh, I go into Arcanine, go for Flare Blitz here, and, uh, this is not going to knock out Scraggy because of that boost. It's like, really? Come on. And now she goes for Drain Punch. Holy crap. This Scraggy took out Articuno and my Arcanine in this fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. I cannot deal with that. I, that's like the unthinkable if you think about it. Anyways, though, so I'm having fun with this. So we're gonna go for close combat and knock out the Scraggy. But I give her props for doing that. Like bringing those Pokemon the way she did and then she pulls off the unthinkable by Dynamaxing and going for the Max Knuckle, getting her boost and the defense boost. It worked out in the end. So that was a wonderful battle that I had with my friend Pika Sarah. If you guys enjoyed this, fabulous. Uh, be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through and you just happen to be upon this video. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next Wi Fi Battle video, which I will be working on it this week. I'll see you then. Have a great day.